Alright, what is going on guys? Clash with Twist Clash here with a war recap video to our war against Reddit Mercury. Now as you guys know, we did already uh, war them and unfortunately as you see right there, we did lose to them the second time around. But the first time around we did win uh, 107 to 88 and of course this time we didn't have, uh, I think two people left so we were down four attacks off the start and some kid had this whole idea he was going to do a cleanup and he never even trained his troops until about there was like an hour and a half left in the war and to try to go wipe especially two times you need a little more than that so um yeah so let's go ahead let's jump right into this war recap uh, where was now we have to do it off that thing right yep so go ahead and go to our war log and details of this war now as obviously we did lose 101 to 105 because uh, they used uh, they used all but two of their attacks, and of course we were down four attacks, and actually some guy didn't even attack at all, so we are actually down six attacks. I don't know where the other two attacks are, but uh, yeah. So start off as you can see, they pretty much just slayed everyone except for or except for Elias. Actually, Elias is the leader, and uh, he did get two star only, so uh, I got two star as well. And, uh, yeah, so my base is actually, it's kind of like a small base, but it kind of looks like a troll base, sort of. So, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. You know what? Screw it. Hold on. Let me take off my sweatshirt real quick. All right, boys. The sweatshirt's off. We're good. So, let's go ahead. Let's start up this replay. And, uh, as you can see, we did get attacked by Try. And, uh, he is using a go wipe. He th is using his, uh, hog right there to go ahead and lure the clan castle. And there goes the second one. And I have some Valkyries and an archer in my clan castle, so that was nice. Uh, Valkyries are actually pretty useful if the uh, attacker does not really know what they're doing when they see them. Most people choke when they see them because they know that they can uh, they can take out like a bunch of troops at once. And uh, yeah, so he has them all lured down to this corner here. I think he's trying to bunch them up and he's probably going to lightning strike them. I don't think one lightning strike is going to take out a max level peck or a level two peck. It's max for town all eight. Uh, will it? Let's find out. Nope, it doesn't. Takes out the archer though. And look at how much health it did on them. They literally took out like none of their health. So, at this point, he's probably sitting there thinking, oh, crap, oh, crap. And he just goes ahead and he starts his attack, kind of like I do. Oh, that's weird. He attacked from the right side here. Uh, most people attack from the bottom just because it looks like it's so open. But, of course, they get, like, wrapped around the entire base. And by the time they can even get into the center, there's only a few seconds left. And there's really nothing they can do. So, he's starting his attack right here on the right side. He's calling in both of his golems, his, uh, hot, or his uh, wizards, and his wall breakers went down. Uh, there goes a heal spell and a rage spell. So, at this point... I don't know what he was thinking, because now he's out of spells. He didn't even get into the base. I mean, I guess it worked for him, but, I mean, just looking at the replay kind of makes me wonder how it even worked for him. Um, I'm just going to assume his troops just did what they were supposed to do and weren't stupid like uh, most of my troops are. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. See, his wall breakers made a clear path into the middle for him, so uh, that's nice. And, uh, yeah, so rages up his king right there for some reason. I don't know why. Like, this guy's attack looks like it'd be so bad. But somehow, it worked so well. Well, at least he got a two-star, and that's a, that's a pretty good attack, if you ask me. So, the town hall is about to go down. Uh, down it goes. That one peck is about to be taken out by my level 6 Tesla, and his king is about to go down, along with the barbarians that the king spawned. So, at this point, he's at a two-star, and he's got two peckas on the outside here. I'm going to assume that they both have max health at this point. Because uh, it doesn't really look, or not max health, but uh, close to max health. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna speed this up a bit, and uh, let's see what, let's see what, uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, that's what happened. See, I don't know. Maybe they ran into a few giant bombs or something. To the point where they were low on health. Uh, there goes the last. Oh no, last wizard is still up, and down goes that last wizard right there, and that brings him up at 78% for a two star. Uh, so it's actually a pretty, um, yeah, you know, it was a. Good two star is what I'll call it. I'll call it a good two star right there. So let's go ahead and check out these uh, highlights. So we have the most heroic attack right here is from Mitch. So let's go ahead and check out his most heroic attack. Uh, this is actually a kind of weird base. I like the I like these square bases though because you can literally just use wall breakers and it'll get you right into the center of the base. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and speed it up at the start here because I'm gonna assume he's just trying to take out the clan castle, which is exactly what he's doing. So he's got the clan castle out, and uh, now he's just trying to lure them up and take them out from the looks of it. Um, he's got them all bunched up, and his wizards take out most of their troops. There's still one wizard left, and he calls another wizard to take out that last wizard and those archers. So that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and slow that down a bit. He calls in both of his golems right here, uh, right up here on the right side, followed by his wizards, of course, and soon his wall breakers. 
And, uh, yep. Down goes a Rage Spell. And then he calls in his Wall Breakers, which is something I really need to start doing. Uh, I never really placed in a Rage Spell that early, and I'm not really sure why. It'll probably help my attack if I do in the future. But, uh, yeah, so it's always something I can improve on. So, right now, down goes the Clan Castle. And, uh, now his P.E.K.K.A.s are going down. His, uh, Rage Spell is starting to wear off. His troops are, uh, in the second little bracket here of this base. Down goes a Heal Spell. Pretty nice Heal Spell. Saved a few Wizards right there from the looks of it. And, uh, now his King's Iron Fist ability is about to go off right there. There it goes. Uh, now he's got a few Wizards in the middle right now. They are just doing work. Uh, he places down a Rage Spell right there. Hoping that his troops will go ahead and turn back into the center. And, unfortunately, they do not. Uh, but the Town Hall did go down from the Wizards. And the Wizards are about to secure the 2-star. Uh, the Pekkas are still at full health. And that does look like that's going to be it for this raid. It does not look like it's going to be a... Three star with the amount of time that's left and the amount of structures that are left as well. So uh, that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna wrap this raid up. I think he's just gonna end it here at this point. He's really like, yeah, no, it's not not even worth it. So 61%, pretty good attack for Mitch against Kenjiro. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our most heroic defense and then theirs. So actually, no, let's go ahead and let's check out their most heroic attack first, then our most heroic defense, then theirs. So. Going to this here, our defender is OMG132, and he will be getting mass hogged. I mean, mass uh, dragon. I don't know why I said hogged, but uh, yeah. So he's calling in two dragons off this, off that the uh, start to go ahead and just take out some of these outside structures before he calls in the rest. And uh, you can see the fact that OMG only has level five uh, air defenses is not really going to help him in this case. And I actually know that this base is actually Cam's. Uh, if you guys watch Clash with Cam. His uh, troll base. This is uh, this is pretty much his town only version of it, except that uh, air defense is not supposed to be there. Um, but yeah, there's supposed to be an open spot right there actually for a troll base, of course. So down goes his clan castle. He has max level loons, of course. I noticed that that was one of the reasons why we lost. They had a bunch of max level loonian raids, like actual like max level loonian raids. Actually, no, they had max level loons with level five minions, and uh, yeah. So um, it does look like his balloons are actually still up. And, uh, at this point, let's go ahead and see. Uh, he still does have a bunch of dragons up. Down goes his last rage spell over there. He's got two over here, and he's got three over here. And, uh, there's nothing really left to do anything about it, except for that one archer tower that doesn't look like it's gonna do anything, and that wizard tower that it might take out that one dragon. But, uh, maybe not. Uh, it looks like it might, but I'm not too sure. So, uh, his king is still in the middle right there. It does look like it's obviously gonna be a three-star. I mean... It's a Town Hall 9. Actually, nope. I don't even know what Town Hall is. He's got a level 5 King, but he's got max level, uh, or level 3 Dragon, so I guess he is a Town Hall 9. So let's go ahead and speed that up and go ahead and finish that. So the last of his Dragon, actually looks like he had, what was that, was that 3, 6, or, he had, actually, actually he had 6 Dragons left, I believe that was, 6 or 7, right there to finish that entire raid, and he just wiped that base, so that was a nice 3 star for Ben Smitty against OMG. So let's go ahead and check out our most heroic defense. Most heroic defense, Ninja Beast 47. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, 10 dragons going against his base. Um, his air defense is actually kind of clumped up, so you could literally just place down one rage spell and it'd probably take all of them out. Or with balloons, it would at least. So down goes his clan castle. He had some minions in it. It looks like he had two minions and another dragon in it. So this will be 11 dragons and two minions. Uh, I don't see an archer anywhere in there that would have filled the clan castle, but uh, out comes his clan castle. He just dropped down all three of his rage spells. Uh, it looks like he kind of choked that. Not really sure if that's what he meant to do, but uh, or maybe his dragon just kind of disobeyed him. So now that his dragons are all just kind of going around the outside, he already dropped down all three of his rage spells right there. And uh, there's 27 seconds left. Does look like this will be a one star, of course. Um, he still does have, I think, three, yep, three dragons right there. One just went down, and, uh, that air defense Tesla and air bomb will take out that, la that one right there, and, of course, there will be two more right there, and there's actually none over here. He got taken out. So, will this be a one star, or will this be a 49% attack? 49%? Oh, he had no health left. Oh, my God. So close to getting the 50%. That is actually really unfortunate. I actually kind of feel bad. He kind of did deserve that 50% one star, but unfortunately did not get it. So, let's go ahead and let's check out this final replay, which will be uh, our, their, or their final, or their most heroic defense. I don't know why I'm, like, stuttering there and stumbling. So, let's go ahead and check this out. 
So defender is Jimbo and the attacker is Justin has Okay. Justin has Tud 20. Alright, I don't know. Alright, so Justin is, will be the attacker. Uh, this is a go wipe, as you can see. Uh, everything looks to be going kind of nice. I mean, he did clump up his wizards right here. And uh, one little... Uh, it does look like he did not put his... Uh, his ra He put his rage spell too far in. Kind of. It looks like he was kind of doing it like a jump spell. I've noticed that uh, I've actually been kind of doing it like that for some reason lately. Kind of weird. He calls down one packet and it looks like his packet is just going to get completely sidetracked going over there. Instead of going into the center of the base. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, this raid does not look like to be going all well. Of course, he forgot to call in his hogs and lure the clan castle. So now that the clan castle's out, he places down his final rage spell right there in a choking manner. He rages up his king right there. His king's just going to get annihilated. And uh, he's actually still up, but he did take a ton of damage. Down goes that, that one wall. King breaks through. He's working on some of the Teslas. Uh, Tesla does go down. He is at 34%. He's got a peck on the outside right here that's about to go down. And uh, it does look like that's going to be... That, or maybe he has four, no, he's got four archers here, I see, that does look like he's going to try and use in a clutch matter, so I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to speed that up, two times, you know, I'm just going to four times that, so it does look like he's just going to try and pull out 50%, I'm not sure if he will, I know he can get one right up there, actually, now I'm looking at it, I don't even know if he did or not, nope, he didn't, um, yeah, so he's at 43, uh, let's see, 43, 48, and no, unfortunately, does not. 48% for Justin has Tud, but uh, that is going to bring this video to an end. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Really, to me, you guys do enjoy watching these videos. You know, I see more of them in the future. Subscribe if you have not already. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Uh, it's been Clash with Twist. I'm out. I'm gonna see you guys in my next videos. Peace.